When you're using the dually halter for remedial work, either schooling the horse to accept the halter and to cooperate with it, or causing the horse to come forward to lead, that sort of thing, then you snap this long line into one ring. There's a ring on each side. And I did have this halter patented because if you don't, you're going to get people making silly kinds of twisted up versions of it. And I want to protect its integrity. So this design in feature is that the halter completely twists when there's one side of it that the slack comes out of. Seems strange, huh? Yeah, it is strange. But in fact, that was the principle that I learned in 1949. That horses don't like that thing to twist. It's a little bit like you having a sock on that's twisted in your boot. Not comfortable. Not going to kill you, but it's not comfortable. And so as it twists like this, they don't like it. And the first thing they want to do is fight back. And they fly back to resist it. That's called into pressure. That's what horses do. But if you treat your hands right and you hold the line when you want to school and you release the line before there's any problem, if you teach yourself those two things, then the horse will suddenly come up off of it. They'll make a move forward up off of it and then it feels good. And they'll start to learn, oh, coming up off of it is the best way. And it's amazing what you can teach that horse to do once they know how to come up off of it. So it's one line. One line, one side. Now, if you're going to put two reins on, of course, you put a rein on each ring. And if you're going to long line the horse with two driving lines, I put them back through the stirrups or the rings on a surcingle here, then you'll have a line on each side. Let's go put the dually on some real horses and talk about the use of it and see how it works.